In the meantime, the radical Islamic group ISIS is making good on its threats to kill Iraqi Christians who refuse to convert. The crisis is closely being followed by San Diego's Chaldean community, which has the second largest population of Iraqi Christians in the United States. Tennis reporter Jennifer Jensen is here now. And Jen, this is just history repeating itself. It really is, Steve. You can see this is the symbol we're told ISIS is marking on the homes of Christians in Iraq. This right here is reminiscent. The star of David's symbol put on homes during the Nazi regime. And it's frightening sight to those watching here at home. Local Chaldean leader Mark Arabo says what is happening in Iraq right now is truly a living nightmare. It's literally uh, the worst it's ever been not just for Chaldeans, but for Christianity in the entire region. The violence in Iraq has already displaced more than a million Iraqis of many faiths. Arabo, who is president of the Neighborhood Market Association, explains that families' homes are being marked. They're basically saying, we know who you are. When the holy month of Ramadan is over, your lives are in our hands. He says it's an all too familiar reminder of what was done during the Holocaust when Star of David symbols like these were painted on homes and businesses of Jewish people during the Nazi regime in Germany. And the Christian Holocaust is in our midst. Video posted online shows a relentless group of armed militants who are not letting up on their quest to take over Iraq. Fighters of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or ISIS, have swept across northern Iraq from Syria, leaving their red stamps and notes like this. Basically telling them, you need to convert to Islam, pay a fee, or leave. Or face mutilation, rape, or beheading. We have to do whatever we can to make sure that we don't turn a blind eye to another Holocaust. Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.